Hello everybody, welcome back to programminginpython.com. Here in this video, I am going to discuss another important data structure in Python which is known as tuple. In the previous video, I have discussed about lists. Here in this video, I am going to discuss about tuple. Tuple is very similar to list. It also contains elements. We can slice on it. So we can do some slicing operations on it. We can perform delete operations and all. But the main thing which we have to note is that tuple is an immutable element. Immutable means the values which uh, once a tuple is defined, we cannot change change it. Immutable means something which cannot be changed. So operations like uh, modifying a value, pre modifying a previous value in the tuple cannot be happen. Whereas in list we can modify an element while like a list of zero. When you type list of zero, that operations can be modified. You can see this is the previous application. Previous. Um, you can see this is our previous program which I have written. You have written list of two equal to Mira, but such things cannot happen in tuples. You cannot change values like this in tuples. Yes, those are immutable. Once you define the tuple like this, and we can do nothing. Now let's go into that and discuss about tuples today. So initially, we have first define a tuple. Tuple is defined as this is simple tuple is defined as in two parentheses opening and closing parentheses whereas lists uh, we have defined list using two square brackets here tuples are defined in this square param in this sorry in this parentheses so uh, actually write some elements to the tuple you can also add some numbers also we'll add some numbers too so these are basic tuple we have defined so now just for our sake we'll print this tuple and see so now we'll print this tuple and see we can just right click and run tuple operations so you can see one two test tuple list and this number is being displayed in the result here so now we just print the tuple and we'll also find the length of the tuple that is also we'll use the same function which we used here uh, for finding length uh, for lists you can you will find the length of the tuple using a simple function which we have used for finding length of the list also here also we, we use this function also for finding the length of the tuple actually if you can calculate the length of the tuple is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we'll just run and see see the length is 6 here okay now after finding the length and after introducing the tuple we'll move on to slicing because they cannot modify an element in the um, tuple so we can't cover the topic here so we'll just directly move to slicing so what we can do in slicing is similarly if you want to print a tuple starting from uh, one to the third element you can print it like uh, we'll print uh, something like uh, tuple and we'll give this start as 0 and start as nothing that is 0 and end as 3 that means it will print uh, elements up to 3 0 1 2 3 means um, it will print up to 0 1 uh, sorry 1 2 and test so as you can see it will it prints 1 2 and test similarly you can also try for um, third element to the last element so you can print elements from tuple list and 87 that is tuple is a third element here 0 1 2 and third element tuple list and 87 here and you can also print uh, um, elements in between so 1 2 4 I'll uh, run this here and now you can see two test and tuple gets printed two is the first one zero one two three four so two test and tuple uh, gets printed here you can also perform a complete reverse el uh, um, complete reverse of the tuple using this function this is known as advanced slice it takes three instead of normal uh, start and end it takes uh, start and end steps if you give steps as minus one it will just reverse the entire tuple 
you can see it prints from 87 list tuple test 2 and 1 completely in the reverse order and you can also delete a tuple using this del and you can write this tuple and the tuple gets deleted so for checking we'll print this top here tuple so we'll just run and see as you can see top is not defined because top got deleted here if you just uh, remove this line and run again it will run fine you can see process deleted so that's how you delete a tuple now one more operation we are going to discuss is concatenation of two tuples we will write some tuple 0 equal to some random elements here so I have defined a tuple with some random elements actually these are not random elements if you see your computer keyboard it's uh, letters from the last line that is Z X C from that the from that line to the top Z A and Q and the next one will be X S and W is something a uh, some keyboard pattern some crazy keyboard keyboard uh, keyboard key patterns are used and now I will use um, so I define another tuple so you can concat concatenate two tuples by using uh, just a single uh, sim just a simple plus operation you can concat you can concatenate these two tuples using this simple operation so now if you if we can print the tuple so now our tuple consists of ZAQ, XSW, CDE, POI, LKJ and MNB so now just run in this application you can see ZAQ, XSW, CDE, POI, LKJ and MNB that's, uh, that's how uh, concatenation operation works in tuple so I think I covered all the basic operations in tuples actually there are a lot of similarities between a list and a tuple a tuple can also convert it to be a list so that's it for this program and for this video too if you like these videos please subscribe to the channel like like the channel like the videos share it with your friends see you in the next video stay tuned bye bye